What's up guys and welcome to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe for more future videos. So I'm about to try something different today. So I normally get my deodorant at the Dollar Tree. I know what you guys are thinking, Mike, you're cheap, you cheap, uh, you suck, uh, it probably smells like shit. Nah, some of the deodorant that I get actually smells pretty good, but I'm gonna try something different. It's called a White Rain by Men's Collection. It's the Solar Rush deodorant. So I'm about to try this. It has a nice little, little box on it. It actually smells pretty good. I mean, for a dollar, come on. For a dollar, guys? Can't complain for a dollar, all right? So stop hating. So we'll see if this works pretty good. I don't honestly sweat too much, so I should be fine. It smells good. All right, let's do it. So normally, I will start the day with some eggs, eggs and bacon, or at least a protein shake, but I'm all out of protein shakes. So we're gonna have to start the day out with a banana and some water get the day started, get everything going. And then, uh, yeah, today's agenda, we are gonna go to the bank. I gotta deposit some money, you know, just a, just a light $7,000. Had a good weekend with the sports betting, casino runs and all that good stuff. Sold a car, made some money doing that. So overall it's a good weekend. So we're gonna go to the bank, do that. We are gonna hit the gym today, finally, guys. I gotta get back to my grind, guys, look. Your boy's getting a little chunky, you know? I was doing so good, guys, and you know, just life just happened, kicked me in my butt. But I'm gonna get back on track, and we're gonna do this together. Also, I wanna show you guys my refrigerator. Check this out. That's hella Red Bulls, huh? Now, I'll tell you the story behind that. So you guys know my Uncle Ralph, how he likes to gamble. So he goes to Thunder Valley like three or four times a week. And every time he's there, he gets free Red Bulls, free waters. So as you guys can see, our water bottles too. Thunder Valley, Thunder Valley water bottles. Y'all know I hate Thunder Valley, but it's nice to drink their water for free. Before we get to the fun stuff, we gotta take care of some business first. So we're about to take the white truck. We got a little dump run to do. It's gonna be some quick, easy money. Now I don't really do dump runs anymore because I started doing, you know, the commercial landscape. So I don't have a lot of time anymore for other, other jobs and stuff. And I'm already running, you know, seven employees deep. But today, because it's easy, we're gonna go run that. We're gonna make a quick little buck. Probably gonna take us no more than, honestly, like five minutes to load the truck. So I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go get that money real quick. And also, it's gonna be like 106 degrees here in California today, so I ain't trying to do nothing today, bro. I ain't trying to do no physical labor work today, but it's still a little early, so we're gonna go get that money real quick. Get us some lunch, maybe get us a Jama juice, you know, just enjoy the day. Easy money, boys, easy money. <laughs> so I tell my roommates, if you guys hear me talking to myself, just mind your own business, you know? The life of a vlogger, the life of making content, that's just the way it is, man. Sometimes I'd rather just talk to a camera than talk to real people, and that's just me. You know, I don't mind being alone. There's a lot of people that have to be in a relationship, you know, they have to be around people, but I've just always been that kind of person where I can just be by myself and just enjoy myself. Enjoy your own company. Learn to enjoy your own company and love yourself and, you know, create your own happiness, create your own peace. A lot of people go searching for other people to fill that void for them. But for me, you know, you gotta be happy with yourself first before you can even do that. So, you know, enjoy your time alone, your happiness, that's your peace. So I haven't really done like a daily vlog in a while been a long time you know so let me know if you guys like this kind of content you know just me picking up the camera filming my day just talking just showing you guys kind of what I do throughout the day let me know if this is the kind of stuff you guys like to see I mean I know a lot of you guys are subscribed to my channel for the gambling videos the sports videos and stuff like that but let me know if you guys like the raw you know talk to y'all say what's up you know let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think man and while you're at it like the video, please, and subscribe to the channel. And if you don't want to like it, if you think I'm ugly, like the video. All right, guys, we just got to the uh, location. So I'll show you guys exactly what we're going to be hauling away today. Guys, three boxes. Chair.
okay, so the customer just came out and asked me if I can take something else. So I was like, sure. She said, how much? I said, another $25. Just like that, boys. Just like that. That's how you do it, man. That's how you make a quick little buck. In a second, I'm gonna go grab the check. And I'm gonna show you guys how much money I made in about five minutes, guys. And you can do the same thing too, man. You don't have to work a nine to five and make $15 an hour when you can just do this and make money hella fast simple it's easy so i'm waiting for the customer to come out and grab me the check and then i'll show you guys how much we made not to mention it's a workout and i'm going to the gym anyway so it's like a win-win situation all right guys so the original job was 110 dollars, and then she asked me if i can take that last little white bookshelf so she gave me another 30 dollars on top so made $140 in like five minutes. That's how we do it. The thing that I hate though, is when people put tape on checks. There's been so many checks that I've ruined just from trying to take the tape off. Luckily, I'm a pro now, so I can get it all off. So boom, there it is. $140 in like five minutes. Of course you gotta pay for the dump fees too as well. So if I was to go to the dump, it'd be $40 to dump this. But I know a lot of people and a lot of my friends have commercial trash cans. So he's like, just roll through. It's just pretty much cardboard and I could throw it in there for free. Probably buying some lunch or something. But yeah guys, if you guys are tired of working your nine to five jobs, start doing landscape bro, like me. And doing like trash hauls. If you did two of these a day, bro, and this is like, the only reason I even did it for so cheap is because she's been a customer of mine for seven years. But normally I'm gonna charge you at least $200 just to leave my house, you know? And then I don't do any residential landscape anymore because I'm just doing commercial. But guys, I was charging $40 minimum. If I was there for five minutes, it's 40 bucks and it goes up from there. So if you cut two yards in an hour, it's $80 an hour. How many people do you know that are making $80 an hour, working for themselves, setting their own schedules, hustling? So I'm telling you guys, the money's out there. If you guys want, bro, I can make another video talking about how to start a landscape business, how I started mine, how I advertise, how I get customers, how I price everything. Some of you guys have been asking for landscape videos for a while, so maybe I should start posting some of those for you guys because honestly, I'd love to help you guys out I mean, what's that's what life's about, helping people out, spreading positivity, and just seeing people succeed. I wanna see everyone win, that's it. When I'm looking at my friends and people around me, I wanna see you guys win. I wanna see you guys succeed and make as much money as you guys can. I wanna see you guys being able to take your family on vacations, being able to get your kid his clothes or his toys or anything he wants, whenever he wants. I wanna see you guys go out to eat at any restaurant you want. Man, I've been doing this for 14 years, guys, and it took a long time to get to where I'm at now. And I'm just truly blessed, and I thank God every day, you know, in the position that I'm in right now. And, you know, there's a lot of speed bumps, a lot of ups and downs, but right now, man, I'm just living the life, and I'm very thankful and humble and blessed. So I just want to share with you guys, you know, maybe spread some knowledge to somebody. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section. I'll make a whole video on how to make money, how to do dump runs and landscape businesses and how much it starts to cost or how much it starts how much it costs to start your landscape business and all that good stuff it really doesn't cost that much money guys to get started and i promise you you guys will be so thankful and happy that you did it there's like a quote it says something like five years ago i wish i was in the same position that you are today and i'm in that position that i dreamed about five years ago I'm finally here, I finally made it, I finally leveled up. And I'm just so, so thankful guys. So anyways, I'm, I don't wanna ramble for too long, but if you guys want 
want me to spread some knowledge and give you guys some tips and tricks on how to start a business and what I had to go through and what I did, I'm more than happy. I'm more than happy to share with you guys. All right, let's move on to the next chore. Just got to the bank. I know I can't really film in there, so I'll put you guys in my pocket. Just don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. And I'm back. Time to get something to eat or something. I'm getting hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet. I didn't even eat that banana that I left at the house. Just, I was in such a freaking hurry. Only grabbed a couple waters. And there's no way I can go to the gym and lift like this. No energy, so. I'm trying to think where I can go to eat right now. I'm trying to eat something kind of healthy, man. Cause you know, I'm trying to get my, my fitness up, man. I've been slacking, bro. Like I said, I've, I was doing so good, man. I lost like 17 pounds. And I think I gained like five or six of them back, which isn't terrible, which isn't too much, but if I can just eat a little bit better, man, and work out. All right, so when you go to the sushi place, you have to get the miso soup. If you haven't had the miso soup, guys, then you're missing out. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I got next, and you guys are gonna talk shit about it. All gone. I can eat this like all day, every day. So delicious. All right, this is what I got. California roll, add deep fried shrimp. Then I put this sauce stuff on it, right here. I know what you guys are gonna say in the comment section. That's not sushi, Mike. That's not sushi. Shut up, that's what I like, okay? Deal with it. The only thing I'm missing though is sriracha sauce. I guess they're on a sriracha shortage here. So, I wasn't able to put any sriracha sauce on here. But this'll do, this'll do. I'm happy, I'm happy, boy. And that's that. I just had a great lunch out here at Haya Sushi. If you know, you know. And the prices are really good here. It was only $13 for a bowl of miso soup, California roll, and I added deep fried shrimp as well. So that cost more money. And a little soda, a little soda. But she did give me the soup for free, so. I think she thought I was cute or something, you know. I'm a little cutie. You guys think I'm cute? Like the video. Earlier I said if you guys think I'm ugly, like the video. But if you guys think I'm cute, you can like the video too. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so uh, successful lunch. I'm satisfied. If you know me, you know I'm never satisfied with my food that I eat. But today, for some reason, I'm satisfied. So now I'm about to head over to the gym, get a little workout in. Got to stay consistent. Got to get back on my grind. Got to get some musculars. Fitness is so crazy, guys. You can start working out in two months, you're looking good, you're feeling good, and then within like a couple weeks, you stop and you just eat shitty, and then you're just back to square one again. But the good thing about fitness is you can always get back on the train. So I appreciate, I'm thankful that I'm healthy. You know, once you lose your health, guys, and it goes downhill, it's pretty much game over. So make sure that you're trying to eat the best you can, just stay fit, stay active. That's my advice. Okay, Budsters. We are pulling up to the gym. Fitness 19. This is my gym here. And I'm gonna have some words with some people here pretty soon. And let me tell you why. So basically, <clears throat> I've been going here since I was like 21 years old. You know, I'm like 23 now, so you know what I'm saying? No, but in all seriousness, I've been coming here for like 15, 20 years. And I only pay $9 a month to come here. And now they have a different gym that's coming here. I guess they got bought out and they're gonna start charging $35 a month. That ain't gonna fly with me guys. That ain't gonna fly with me. So not to mention, I already have Planet Fitness membership as well. And that's like 25 a month. So I might have to go sign up at 24 hour or Cal Fit and step my gym game up because there's no way I'm paying $35 here when I'm paying 25 at Planet Fitness. And I think Planet Fitness is a better gym than this place. The only reason I like this place is like I said, because I've been here for, you know, forever since they opened. And it's kind of like family here. So that's the deal right here. But anyways, uh, let's get into the workout. North Road made this.
right, you guys want to know a fun fact about me? In high school, when I weighed 66 pounds, I did 82 push-ups. I had the best push-up record in the whole class, and that's 82 push-ups in a row. My lens blurry, hold on. Yeah, so I did 82, and here we are, 64 years later, and I'm gonna see how much I can do in a row. I'll be happy if I can do 20, but I'm not so sure, you know? So, let me know in the comment section before you watch, how many, how many do you think I can do? And I know what you guys are gonna say in the comment section. That wasn't a real push-up. You didn't go all the way down. I can already hear the haters talking right now. It wasn't a real push-up, Mike. All right. All right, haters, here we go. This is for the haters. Fuck. Fifteen. Ah, twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Ah, fuck. Twenty-five. We're gonna work on that, boys. We're gonna beat it. Twenty-five, though. That's more than I thought I could do. Woo! Man, it's a lot easier pushing up 66 pounds than 185. But I got 25, guys. Hit the like button for 25 push-ups. Here's another fun fact. I can't touch my toes, watch. Look at this shit. You know, I think I got T-Rex, T-Rex arms. Not even close. Is that bad? I don't know. What does that mean if I can't touch my toes? Is that good or bad? Like I can stretch and like do everything I can and I just cannot. Now if I do it like this, we're almost there. We're straight on. T-Rex arms, T-Rex arms. Y'all wanna get strong like me? This is the exercise right here. You know what we call that? Curls for the girls. Curls for the girls, that's what we call that. Curls for the girls. More weights, more dates. Ooh. Ain't nobody looking like this at 12 o'clock on a Monday. I'm all hogged up, boy. Ain't nobody looking like this at 12 o'clock on a Monday, boy. I'm all hogged up, boy. Everybody knows my skinny chicken legs aren't growing. But we on here, bro. We trying. We're trying to make gains. My little calves, bro. My little cab legs, bro. Yeah, I'm out here though, putting in the work. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed my vlog today. Let me know what you guys think about the, the vlogging and you know the daily vlogs and take you on my day and uh, try to be positive. Give you guys some tips and tricks on stuff that I know. So let me know if you guys like this kind of video. Appreciate y'all. Make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos. And I'm going to talk to you guys soon. All right, y'all. That's going to bring us to the end of the video. Had a good workout. I'm glad I went. I just got to stay consistent, man. Consistency is key to everything we do in life. So consistent video uploads, consistent gym consistent eating a little bit better and we're gonna hit our goal so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button and subscribe for more future videos see ya